Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Cheryl's Technology Channel. I'm Chris. And you're probably looking at my desktop like, wait, that's not Ubuntu. Yes, I know. Two hours I've been working on this. Ubuntu is now, if you look right here, powered off. There's a reason. So the first time I did get it to work and I had to re-image it because I had the process wrong a little bit. I had the steps backwards, but then I booted it back up. I created a new virtual machine and then it wouldn't work at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. This, this video right here is for a Unify installation script. So we're going to install Unify right now. Hopefully we're going to install Unify right now. This is my third attempt at trying to get this right now. Yeah, okay, so we're going to do sudo app dash get. I wonder if we should do, um, because I've already done all this stuff. Uh, apt, and I don't think that app dash get. I don't think that's valid anymore. Let's um, let I'll tell you what. Let's take out the apt or the dot get the dash get. Let's take all that out, and then let's try it without that because I know darn good and well. They changed that CA dash certificate because I'm really wanting to know whether this is going to work or not. Dash Y. Okay, password. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay, okay. And I did run updates on it. Sudo app. So, see there? Beautiful. Now, I will run sudo. The next step, and I'll link all this in the description too, so y'all can see exactly what to do. What I had to do is I had to remove the app dash get on the website. Is no so right here. Let me show you. Right here, it's how it says app dash get. Take out the dash get, and just leave it as apt, because I'm pretty sure they removed that in one version or another of it. Okay, I gotta bring that screen back up. Okay. Let's see, sudo wget uh, https forward slash forward slash get dash glen r dot nl forward slash unify. So what we're doing now is we're going directly to the website to grab, we're going directly to the URL to grab it. And you'll see here in just a second, install unify now. I want to pause right here for just a second because in here, in this in this uh, image here, see how it says 6.5.55? Well, they're on a way newer version now. Uh, let's see, right here, 7.2.94. 7.2.94 is what we're going to put. So it's unified dash 7.2.94. Oops, 94, and I think it's dot .sh, if I remember right, I think is what it was, dot, yeah, dot .sh for shell. Enter. See, there we go, yeah, see, see right here? And it said 100%, make sure it says that. That's the sign that it's going to work. Let's do this again. Let's do bash, uh, unify, dash 7 dot two dot ninety four dot sh now this video is actually kind of done i have installed the unify controller we need to give this virtual machine we need to give it a static ip address so we're going to go to the system settings and we're going to find network so what we're going to do we're going to click our little gear we're going to give this a static IP because what we want to do, we want to use a manual. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it 192.168.1.10 like that. And then 255.255.255.0, so class C. And there's that right there. Whoops. Come on. Dot one. Okay. So DNS, same server as the gateway. We're going to apply that now. Okay. 
Gonna turn that off, turn it back on. Turn it back on. So you'll see why very rapidly and very soon you'll see why we did this. The reason we did this is because we up, oh, there it is, you see it? So after we did that, oh darn it, added that printer. Holy moly. That is a label, a thermal label printer. And it added it automatically. It just done. I'm kind of digging Linux Mint here. Now, so that that's you'll see very so the reason basically to show y'all to tell y'all the reason we did it that way is so that when we get the Unify controller installed on here, right? When we get it installed on here, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put in rarely have I seen it automatically detect the the actual um um the actual server that it's running on. It rarely detects it. Even with it doing an automatic discovery, it rarely works. So what you have to do, what I've had to do every time, is manually enter the IP address so that it, it finds the server that it's trying to connect to. Um, so that's this machine. This machine, that's why we gave it a static IP, so that we know it's 1.10. So, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and... Until the next video, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Everybody, thank you. And until next time, I love you. Peace.